All right, and as you can see, we've gotten it home. We're about to do some pressure washing. I took off the back just to kind of get a little bit uh, better access. Just got to clean up all the nuts and bolts that you see down in here. So let's get those out and then we'll start pressure washing. Just going to get all this dirt out and then we're going to start doing some fixes, trying to kind of bend those out and get it going. Maybe do some patchwork. I've read, basically sand this down, do some etching primer. I've got some of that and we'll see how this turns out.
All right, so we got this point here. We know we're gonna be taking these off, so I'm gonna go and pull those all off real quick, and we'll rinse those off too. As you can tell, we are getting ready to raptor line it. We did come in with a little bit of a self etching primer. Just kind of covered up some of the areas that I know your corners and stuff, it sometimes have a little bit uh, issue to stick with. And some of the uh, spots that had some bare aluminum on it, just from getting scratched through the years. What we're doing is we are taping this off. I've pre-taped the corners. We're gonna come back with the, um, up right there, the, plastic bag and we're going to basically tape on the back side of this and cover that down but I've pre-filled out the areas that we're going to want to the uh, Raptor liner not to be and just kind of done the edges and we're going to come back and fill the rest of this in and I'll catch back up with you guys on that alright as you can see we've got this taped off what I did was I put the sticky side of the tape on the back side pulling it uh, even on the back and then came across and just created my line so we're going to paint up and over this edge as you can see, we've got some protecting just for everything else in the garage. Just verifying everything's good to go. I've got the back taped off because we want the inner side of this painted, but we only want the edge. Got all those cupped off. So. I'm going to put you up and mix up my batch and we're going to paint.
All right, it's been about 30 minutes, starting to set up a little bit. We didn't want to pull the tailgate off because we had it just propped up with a stick. So I didn't want that to have a chance to fall. Uh, I have pulled off some of the sides just to kind of get through. Just got this other side, but we'll just do kind of a quick walk around. We're going to start pulling all the little tiny uh, orange ear uh, pieces that we'd put in. You can see this just pulls off pretty easy. Since the way we taped that, pretty much just pulls off. kind of hard with one hand but we're gonna get that done and uh, let it sit and just cure all right I've taken the blue tape off after it's been sitting you see what do you want to take it off before it gets too long to stick and form but it will create a nice steady line go all right next thing we want to do is pull all these out before they kind of dry in place if you didn't push them in too far they should come out pretty easy by hand and we'll do that all the way around All right, so we're just kind of finishing up the walk around, kind of give you a visual of what it looks like. This is the next day after it's sat for uh, about 24 hours now. It's cured, nice, it's hardening up, good to the touch. We could go ahead and start mounting stuff in. There's a little bit of touch up stuff we gotta do, like some of the areas inside of here uh, on the back side. We're just gonna hit that with just some regular spray paint just to kind of clean it up. Uh, I will suggest we only had the four pack and for the next time doing one of these trailers, I'd probably do a six pack of the Raptor liner. Uh, four just didn't seem to be enough. It was laying a really light coat uh, on it here. Uh, you do get a little bit of stuff there. You can clean that out if I can reach it. But we plan to come in here. We're gonna have that uh, slide out bed liner or a uh, bed slide that'll be in here. So when this is down, it will actually bring all the stuff out. I don't have to worry about it. Like I said, we're gonna have a whole entire structure up over top uh, to enclose this part in and follow us on the build and we'll see you on the next one, you guys.